Well, one of the slogans of this demonstration has been no to social cleansing, yes to social housing. And my branch of Unite organises workers who work in social housing organisations, and so we're particularly pleased to support this campaign, to have supported the campaign from the beginning. Because social housing is under attack, not just in Harringay, and not just by the HDB. Actually, uh, since 2011, Britain has lost about 150,000 social homes at a time when we desperately need more. And the truth is, housing associations, where many of our members work, have got rid of about 50,000 social homes. And that's been by transferring those homes to higher rent, more commercially attractive tenure, and reducing the amount of homes for working class people. So that's why a victory against the HDV today is enormously important, because it's a really been a battle of local communities, of working class people, of ordinary Londoners, against the banks and finance, and unfortunately, some of the Labour councillors. And you've shown that working class people can win in that battle. Now, I agree with the speakers have said this particular battle is great if we can stop this, but that's not the end of the story. And in fact, we need to continue the battle against social cleansing, against cuts, and for genuine social housing. That's what's desperately needed uh, in, in Harringay, across London, and in, uh, across the country. And that will require budgets that meet real social needs. Now that won't be easy, it's actually difficult to run a Tory council. We know that Northamptonshire is on the brink of going bust and they're trying to carry out cuts and acts as a Tory council. <laughs> but the lesson is, Labour councils will have to, and Harringay will have to support the communities by passing needs budgets and fighting against cuts. And this movement, this campaign, demonstrates we can win.